hello everyone, my name is Mika Järvinen. Uh, I come from Alta University, I work as an associate professor there. The topic of this short uh, presentation is principles of solar energy. And especially I'm focusing on the solar energy resource and, and, and solar panels, how they operate. Uh, but first, a few words about the resource of solar energy. Uh, irradiation from the sun drives, in principle, all fully renewable uh, energy sources on the Earth, except the, the tidal energy in the seas. Uh, and this, is, uh, this phenomenon is created by the, the, the rotation of the moon around the, the Earth. And the sun is a spherical ball of hot gases with a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers and an internal temperature inside the sun is uh, uh, 20 million um, uh, degrees Celsius. Well, of course, this is an approximation. Uh, the distance uh, to the sun from Earth is roughly 150 million kilometers. Uh, the center of the sun is a fusion, a nuclear fusion reactor, converting hydrogen to helium and releasing a lot of energy at the same time. The surface of the sun emits radiation, uh, uh, thermal radiation, with a spectrum si similar to a black body at a temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius. So it's a very hot, hot uh, heat source. Uh, this. Uh, tries to explain the, the scale of the phenomenon. So sun is there at a distance of 150 million uh, kilometers from Earth. And when the, the radiation comes to, to, to the Earth, its uh, intensity has decreased to uh, 1,367 watts per square meter. So this is the uh, intensity outside of atmosphere of the Earth. And the diameter of the Earth is 0 0.01270 uh, million kilometers. So there's a, it's a significantly smaller compared with the size of the Sun. But the question to you is now, take your calculator. Uh, if the Sun is a, would be a 22 centimeter football, how far is the Earth and what is the size of the Earth? I will give you the answer a bit later on this. So, radiation leaves from the uh, hot surface of the Sun, travels to Earth through the space, to the outer surface of the atmosphere, and then we, the intensity is equal to 1367 watts per square meter. This is also called solar constant. When the radiation then passes through the atmosphere to the, the surface of the Earth, it's, it is reflected, scattered, absorbed, and, and this all decreases the intensity of the irradiation down to uh, 1000 uh, watts per square meter, so one kilowatt per square meter uh, at the clear conditions. So roughly 1000 is the maximum what comes to the surface of the Earth and, and what we can utilize in, in different applications. Uh, then few terms, irradiation, that's watts per, squ watts per uh, square meter, that tells us the rate at which solar radiant energy is incident to the surface. And then we have insulation, that's the uh, cumulative uh, uh, amount of solar ir irradiation, like in a way the, the integral of irradiance over time. And, and here is an example from California, uh, different days, five days, and you see that the maximum irradiance is around 550 uh, watts per square meter. And, and then these values below show the daily insulation. And, and you see that even uh, in California, a very sunny location, there can be significant vari variations uh, between different days. And then about the solar panels, how to how to, the, the efficiency and how to calculate the power from solar panels simply. Uh, typical commercial solar panels uh, nowadays have efficiency of 20 to 25 percent. This is the eta uh, symbol, Greek symbol. Uh, so it can convert, they can convert this fraction of the irradiation to electric power P. And, and simply 
you can calculate the power so that it's efficiency times the uh, irradiation. You could measure that with a, uh, some kind of a measurement device and then uh, uh, multiply that by the efficient area of the panel. And as an example, if we need to have 50 kilowatts of rated power from a solar power plant, and efficiency is 21%, and irradiation is the maximum one kilowatt per square meter, how large area is required? And, and simply dividing the power by the product of efficiency and area gives us roughly 240 meters. So quite large system, and, and then, of course, this is the panel uh, cell area, so the actual uh, power plant needs to be then quite much larger. This is another another example of the panel that I use in, in teaching at Aalto University, and this is the when you turn the panel panel uh, uh, around, you see this label, technical label. So, question is, what is the efficiency of this panel? And and simply, I measure the blue dark area, that's the area of the cells. Uh, and, and dividing the maximum power at, at the standard test, test conditions, so that is one kilowatt per square meter, divided by the area gives us roughly 15% efficiency of this, this small panel. And the answer to the question, to the football question, so the distance of Earth from this football would be uh, roughly 24 meters, and the Earth would be two millimeter in diameter. So think about the scale of the system, solar system. Uh, thank you for listening uh, this lesson. Uh, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer. So thank you.